online with all of the platforms. Just want to invite you to chat and subscribe and like. If you chat, I will respond. Unlike those other streamers, never respond to any chats. They just keep going on with their life. I'm just kidding. I get it. If you got a lot of people talking, you can't exactly respond to everything that's going on. Or you would never have much of a stream. We are... Uh, fixing a HP Beats laptop that a customer gave me. I'm going to fix it up for another customer. Uh, a couple things. I'm going to install an SSD and I have to replace the Wi-Fi wires because I decided to clip them even though they probably weren't bad. They probably weren't bad. And I also already I'm not going to show this right this second, but I already fixed the hinges. Both of the hinges were busted, and I already put epoxy on those. I've done other videos where I've done epoxy on the hinges, but I will. You sh I, you'll see me have to file some of it off, file some of it down, and then we'll put that monitor back on. So first off, we got to take the case off to get to both the as the hard drive and the Wi-Fi wires. Let's do that now. Unzip each of these here. There probably is not a screw under this foot. Sometimes there are there is a screw underneath the rubber feet. So you have to lift them up and check, but I'm going to guess that since there are screws all around it, I doubt there are uh, more more screws. And this screw back here releases the optical drive. Let's get this one out. They usually all have a screw that is what is going on? Is this stripped or something or is it already out? What's going on? Okay. Are we stripped? Maybe. Uh let's just flip it out and see if it comes out. Yep. Probably perhaps probably something going on there on the inside. And with this model, I think you have to take these little feet off. I think. I'm not sure. You know what? Uh, yeah, I got to take it off anyway to get to it. I'm just going to take it off. Doesn't matter. I, I don't always remember each model, like what all exactly you have to take off. Take this out. Sometimes there's sometimes there's screws in here. Um, and I do see some. There are three. Sometimes there, there are screws. Sometimes there are not screws. Okay, those are this big screw head is not gonna work on those. I'm just gonna use a little one here. Okay, that's on site. Okay, there it goes. And I have to do this all very quickly because number one, customer's gonna pick it up in about two or three hours and number two I have to get back to my real job making real money not this fake business um I have a knock knock joke for you knock knock who's there Dora Dora who Doors are locked. Let me in. <clears throat> yeah. Crickets. Okay. There's another one. I forget it now. I gotta work on them. Work on my jokes. <clears throat>
Oh, and by the way, just want to let you see, this is actually a, a nice uh, laptop. Even though it's older, and it's not, I don't know if it's super old. It has a Core i7 and it has a built-in NVIDIA GeForce. I don't know if you'd be getting 120 FIPS on your uh, Call of Duty or whatever. Strike Force, whatever it's called. <laughs> Probably sound like an idiot. Strike Force. Um, that, that's not a game. Is that a game? I'm gonna shut up. I don't play. I actually, I don't play first-person shooters. I don't play that. But this is still a good computer for just average, regular use for browsing the interwebs. I'm just checking to make sure I get all the screws. I think I did. I believe this this laptop opens from the top, sort of. So I'm going to do that. Where's my metal spudger? Oop. I'm always looking for my tools, and they're always right in front of me. There we go. I might be able to just work my hand around it. There we go. Very nice, very nice. More than, yeah, so I was right. Yes, the border is attached to the bottom section. Sometimes it's the other way around. Like the board and stuff is attached to this, like, to this top keyboard section. Which is fine, whatever. It's just a difference in design. I guess they just flip a coin and decide what they're going to do. I, you know what? I bet there's more screws. Hold on. I didn't take that black, these black ones, ones off. Let me check under the feet first. Yep. There we go. See? They hide screws under these feet. If they were having trouble, more than likely, you gotta check your feet. There we go. See, there's another one. Again, uh, this may or may not be necessary. These, these, any, any one particular screw may not be necessary, but I don't always know. So, I just kind of take them out. And then I don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> I really like my little skill drill here. You know, I wasn't using this for like the first, I mean, up until maybe three months ago, four months ago, I was doing this all by hand. I was doing the screws by hand. I don't know why. I don't know why I was doing them all by hand. That's crazy. Oh, and by the way, if my mic seems a little hot, like, if I sound a little distorted, I'm sorry. I did turn up the gain on my compressor. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. I still think it's hitting the limit pretty hard. So I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. Just a tiny bit here. Um, if I can ever open up the right window. Let's see. Fil oh, filters. Here we go. Compressor. I'm just going to turn it down. We'll start with 1 dB. Actually, we'll go. We'll set it to 7.5, the output gain. Because, like I said, uh, okay, that might be a little better. Because I'm watching the, the volume, and it's like hitting the. Bam, 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 bam. It's hitting the, the limit. When it hits the limit, it starts to distort and sounds ter terrible. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, like I said, I got to kind of hurry up here. I think now we should be able to... Oh, look at that. Came right up. Came right up. Come in right up. And now we've got to be careful because there's going to be a small handful of connectors that are... See? Right here we have... Looks like three connectors that we have to unhook. Not a big deal. Just get our plastic spudger and pop the latches. Um, it's kind of hard to hold. I'm trying to maneuver. 
I'm trying to show y'all, yet pop these latch guys. Uh, and the keyboard is right here. There we go, that was easy. And this is probably the, oh, this is like the scanner button or something. So, the fingerprint scanner button, I think. And then we have the power button back here in the back. You know what? I'm going to change to a brightly colored spudger. Now that I think about it. If, you know, maybe next video, I'll, I'll make a note. <laughs> I'll try and get colored. Yeah, I should get colored tools. Or bright, at least not black, because it's not as easy to see. And then, got it. Here's another one. What is this? Just curious. What is this? Okay. Probably can't see this. It's another one. I'm just curious where he goes. What he's for. I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that's. Does but it's okay. Whatever, ask him out. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's for an LED because I only see like two, uh, two lines. It, it doesn't matter. Just curiosity. All right, let's ready to pull out. Here we go. See, and this just comes right out. Set that aside. I'm going to vacuum this a little bit. Oh, it's just a little bit dirty. Not too bad. Just a little bit of dust. Normal dust. <coughs> I'm going to mute myself here for a minute. You know, I just realized I'm not exactly sure this even works. Even if I do change out the hard drive. Let's go ahead and change the hard drive out. Here's the hard drive sitting right there. Well, hold on. I'm going to get a different color spider. Hold on. How's that? Is that? That shows up a little better. Okay. Alright, so we just remove remove this here. Gonna move this out of the way. Actually, it's nothing to do with the drive. Just gotta remove it. Remove it out of the way. Here is the FPC connector for the for the drive. So we're gonna pull this out. And uh, every model is a little bit different how they configure these, so you just kind of have to look at it. This particular one has these rubber sides, which is nice because it does come right out. But when I put in the SSD, it doesn't quite fit as nice. But that's okay. Now there's no weight to it, and it's just flipping, flip, flipping back. Now let's swap out these little side side guys. We'll use them again, and you got to pull out the uh, SATA power connector here. See this little little doohickey deer? And we're gonna just trash that piece of crap. I got a stack of those, man. I got a stack of those hard drives. I, I don't know what to do with. There's companies that'll, I guess, buy them, and we're gonna place with this 512 SSD. Silicone power. I've been using these. I use these for myself too. 
I don't know if the Samsungs are much better. And they, it may be, maybe, but I, I don't know. To me, it's a negligible difference. I, I, I don't know. But these work, and customers are happy, and I'm happy, and at the end of the day, that's what really matters, isn't it? People tell me, wow, my computer is so much faster. I'm like, yep, that's your SSD for you. <clears throat> so we're going to pop this guy back on. It took off. And we're going to put these little... Which way does this go? That way. This goes that way. Yep. And I put these back on. I believe it was like this. These just fit in the sides. They have little nubs fit in the side. And this, this just kind of fits down back in here. Just like that. There we go. See? Not too hard. Not too hard. I will say some of these hard drive removals are a little bit more difficult. This one happens to be fairly simple. But I wouldn't say none of them are super hard. Not really. And we're going to plug it back up on the FPC connector. So it's just giving me a hard time. Why isn't this going in? Oh, there we go. In. Looks good. I know you probably can't see this detail, but on these FPC connectors, there's little black lines. Little black lines written on the uh, pull tabs. And, you and when you flip the latch, the latch should bump right up against that black line. That way, that way you know the FPC connector is in. FPC stands for Flexible Printed Circuit. Because, I mean, it is a printed circuit. It is a printed circuit. Some people just call them a ribbon, which is fine. Whatever. I mean, we're not too technical right here. This is in. Um, have to replace the uh, Wi-Fi lines here. You know where Wi-Fi is from? Wi-Fi. Calling it Wi-Fi. Movie. You know what movie that's from? One of my favorite movies. Break it, Ralph. Breaks the internet. Dude, when I first saw that movie, I lost my mind. I loved that movie. Love that movie. There we go. Oh, I might actually need that. Hold on. I need to put some weight on this sucker. How do I put my coffee on it? Oh, no. That'd be, that'd be a good idea. There we go. Kind of hold it down. We have to... Let's see, I see the lines going, if we can make this out on the, here's the lines here for the Wi-Fi coming out, and we have to remove these lines, these lines tuck up under the speaker, and then come up and into the, the Wi-Fi card there, so we're going to have to remove the lines, uh, uh, the speaker, to get those those lines. Not a problem, easy, just a few screws, we do have to undo this FPC connector, move that out of the way. That's for the optical drive. And I'm going to remove this speaker very easily with two screws. And it also has a connector here we have to remove. Easy peasy. There we go. This should lift, should lift right out. Hopefully, maybe. Again, I don't know if this computer is going to work. It might not work. Oh, there's three. There's another one. There's another screw. It is very disheartening to do a lot of work, and all of a sudden you realize the whole thing doesn't work. Like, the, you know, like the whole device just doesn't work. You're like, okay. Um, are we caught? No. I'm just going to snake it out of these grooves and stuff. Um, do I have to remove the card? You, yes, let's take the card out because that would make life easier. Because so, it's just like kind of wrapped around. There we go. Let's remove this card. The card is kind of kind of just pulled out here. There's a little. There's a connector down underneath the board on the other side of the board. And then we just detach these. You gotta be careful when pulling these off. I always pull them off right from the back right here. Right from the back, because I have ripped the connectors off the board. Like these little these little connectors. I have ripped those off and it sucks. You have to basically get a whole new thing. You can't even fix them. Alright. 
And these are trash. This is trash. Uh, did, I, did I mix around the blue and the black? Looks like, I don't, know if, I don't know if it really matters whether you actually use blue or black. I think it's just two, like wires. You know what I mean? But I will say it looks like the black is on the left and the white is on the right. So let's remember that. And here's our not exactly new. Are these in good shape? Because I pulled these off on another computer. Let's double check, make sure these are in good shape before I start. Hopefully these are long enough. I think they are. I think so. I think these are long enough. I don't really know. Let's do a little trial run. Let's see. Okay, if this goes here and here, goes up. Yeah, that might that might be enough. So I'm just gonna cross our fingers. I wanna go with it. And is this going to connect? It looks like it will. Just kind of push it down. And here we go. We just kind of push this down. Get it lined up. Push it down. Uh, push it down. Push it d down. There we go. And then the way they had it was these are kind of... I kind of I kind of sneak them under here. Look at this! Looks like factory. Man, you know what kind of sucks too is like I don't think I really had to replace these. Like the wire looked kind of eaten up a little bit, <clears throat> so I was just like, oh, I'll change it out. So I snipped them. But I, I think the wires would have been fine. But that's okay. You got, made a good video out of it. Okay, that came undone. That's alright. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and screw this down. Is there anybody on their lunch break? It's okay. Nobody comes to my feed. It's my, I keep saying feed. My stream. It's okay. Usually people catch... I, um, you know, I, I obviously I also stream to YouTube... And so people will end up watching it later. I had someone from Twitch say they were able to fix their PS4 because one of my videos makes it feel pretty good. Oh, that's all right. There we go. I think that's going to work. It's going to work. Folks, we might be done pretty soon here. Then this has to... The way they have this... It goes in these... These go in these little grooves. And it just kind of popped out the side right here. And then we're going to... Snake it up the... Side of the monitor. Okay, that looks looks sort of correct. I think so. It was just kind of tucked in, tucked into here, tucked into there. I'm gonna put a piece of tape just to kind of hold it down while I'm trying to do this, so it's not as much of a pain in the butt. I right, hope I'm almost done. I don't know what time it is, but I gotta hurry up. Hopefully I won't have to... Oh yeah, I don't. I don't... I don't have to file... the epoxy down. Because I already tested it. Before um, before streaming, I already tested it. And it looked pretty good, so... That's good. That guy saved me a little bit of time. That's all... That's, that's what it's about. Saving time. Now... So this is ready to feed up the monitor. A lot of this stuff can be repaired, you know? People think, people think, oh, I got a computer and it's like 10 years old. I'm like, yo, you know, depending on that computer, 10 years old, it, 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 it it's okay. It depends, you know? If it was medium to high end 10 years ago, like, it's, it, it still could be okay. More than likely, it needs an SSD up, upgrade. It needs the hard drive upgrade. But after that, probably still good if, you know, you're just on the internet, you know, Facebook, you know, whatever. 
it's probably fine. Even 10 years old. I work on plenty of 10 year old laptops, computers, and do it fine. <clears throat> I might, I might sound dumb for saying this. Okay, maybe naive. But I feel like CPUs have not advanced leaps and bounds in the last even 10 years. Now, I say leaps and bounds. Leaps and bounds. Okay. Yes, they've gotten more efficient. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Faster? Mm, sure. Yes. But, I mean, you have, like, you get, like, a like an i7, you know, 3.0 gigahertz from, like, seven years ago. Um, that's still good now. You know? Just put 8 gigs in it of RAM, put an SSD in there, boom, you still got a rocking computer, you know, I'm serious, still a good computer, I mean, yeah, like, again, you're not going to get a, you know, 120 fibs on Counter-Strike, you know, Counter-Strike, but <clears throat> for average use, it's still a good computer, they still sell total garbage computers at Walmart and stuff like that. Uh, and your seven-year-old computers will blow those away, okay? But but if you bought a low-end one seven years ago, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be good now. You've got low end, a low-end computer, right? So, hope that helps. And then we're gonna sneak sneak these up the 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 case. Trying to get, trying to figure out how this was. Oh, sorry about that. My mic hit the computer. I'm gonna sneak these up the side of the case. It's just gonna have to be. I'm gonna have to take a guess at how this is gonna work here. Um, let's just. I'm just gonna. Uh, I probably can't really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna sneak this white one along first. Ah. No, I can't really remove the monitor right now, but I could just kind of clamp it shut to the to the case so it's not falling down on me. There we go. Got a little clamp on there. Now it's not falling down on me. You know what? I don't remember. I don't quite remember how. I think. I feel like it was like. I think it was like this. Or something. <clears throat> how is this? Oh, you know what? This is like a right side. Oh, weird. Okay. I see. Uh. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Where? How am I gonna attach this? Um, I might. I think to, I think these are left side attachments, which is okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best way. You know what? I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go with it like that, and then hope for the best. I just have to figure out how these are snaked around on here. Um, let's go like this. I feel like that's probably not how they go. Kind of snake this back through here. There we go. Yes, yeah, so this ends up being longer. Like, okay, I need to snake it the other way because we got a lot of slack over here. I'm just trying to snake it from the bottom of down here first. I'm starting down here at the bottom. 
and we're going to snake it along the side. There we go. I'm sure the people at the factory can do this like with their eyes closed, right? They have to probably do it in their sleep, those poor people. Bam, bam, bam. I'm just going to kind of mount that right there. It's probably not the most ideal spot exactly right there, but we will get Wi Fi. We will get Wi Fi for sure. Guarantee. I'm sneaking the other one around on top of the whites. Hopefully it'll stay enough. Yeah, this one's flipping up on me. I might have to tape it down to kind of, I might have to tape this down to get it down where I need it to be for right now. And I believe you have to, you attach this, you have what you have to, to get that. I might have to put some more tape on there because it's coming off. Tell you what, good old scotch tape. Still some of the some awesome tape. I just a lot of times I just use regular regular old scotch tape for stuff. Serious, there you go. Look at that. That's gonna hold nice. Good old scotch tape. Some of the best tape to this day for fixing lots of stuff. I might even put some more here just to kind of hold this down. Kind of hold it while I'm trying to get this situated here. Okay, there we go. That's gonna work for right now. Do I really got three viewers? You know what? That's the most I've ever had at one time. If if that's true. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all watching my channel. I'm just, I'm almost done here. And then, um, uh, on a bad note, not terrible, I my HDMI capture device stopped working. So I'm not going to be able to show you the Windows 10 install and setup, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so, but like, the boot, the boot menu, and the initial installation screen. I, I don't think you'd be able to see it anyway. Like that doesn't come through on the on the uh, on, on the, the 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 second HDMI on these laptops anyway. So you wouldn't see it anyway. All right. I'm sorry. I'm doing. Let me kind of. There we go. I'm just snaking this last black wire. Uh, let's see this. Unfortunately, I did not glue this little frame straight. I'm gonna have to. You know what? Hmm. I have an idea. I'm gonna just kind of bring it around past the the hinge. I'm gonna have to do that. I can tell which is fine that hinge is not um, that frame that little that pl frame is not connected well anyway I don't know if this will even cut <laughs> hopefully I don't cut the stupid Wi-Fi cord oh, oh it's, now it's totally coming off alright that might have not been a brilliant idea However, I will say I think it's still necessary. Here's here's what I noticed. I think I made a mistake when doing the initial two-part epoxy. <sighs> Whoa! Okay, there we go. 
I think I put too much and it pushed this out. So I may have to dig that out anyway. Like you know what I mean? Because when I put the monitor in, it butts the metal butts right up against there. And if that is pushing out, if this metal bar is pushing out too much, it the the monitor is not going to go in. It's not going to sit in there. So I think I need to remove this epoxy anyway. So let's do that real quick. Let's, I'm going to have to chisel this crap off. So once this epoxy dries, man, this stuff dries. You know what? I don't even know if I can get it off. I think I might just file up. Okay, I'll tell you what. Before I do all this mess, let's see if the monitor even fits in nicely. And it still might fit in nicely. There we go. Here's that. You know what? I'm going to put... I got to put some more... I'm gonna, I got to protect that because that's a sharp edge and I don't want... It rubbing, rubbing these wires too much. So let's kind of protect it a little bit with some electrical tape. Will do pretty well. Let's put some electrical tape right here. Normally, this is a much fast. Uh, these are faster fixes, but this has multi this laptop's got multiple issues going on. Okay, that's good. Just kind of wanted to cover these sh sh sharp edges. I guess I could always file those too, but we'll just kind of stick some. There we go. Look at that. Kind of made our own little groove with the tape. There we look at that. Now, you know what? Tape that down. That'll be good. Let's tape that down. Scotch tape. Scotch tape over here. Over here. See, I'm just kind of snaking it around where I did. See right there? That's where I did the... I just kind of put some black tape on there. Keep, keep the sharp edges from rubbing on the wires now okay this tape isn't helping me out now I'm gonna do the black one and tape it all down and I think we should be good to go I'm gonna say we should be good there we go look at that now certainly this might be in the way of of the monitor on the back but it might be okay too hold on we'll say I mean it might it might push the monitor out a little bit but probably not a lot, so not enough to really make a big deal about it. However, this black cord keeps popping up, so I think I need more tape. Let's tape this whole dumb thing down. And this tape really isn't doing a whole lot, it's just kind of holding it down until we set the monitor in place. It's like a mess right here, this corner. It's raining where I am, a little bit. Look at that. That looks, that looks killer job right there. Thumbs up, look at that. <laughs> Pro job. Pro, booming job right there, boy. All right, I'm just put some more tape. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Yes. It'll hold. It'll hold. Once you get that monitor on here, that's going to hold down nice. I'll tape all this down. Scotch tape, baby. Scotch tape. Still does the job good. There we go. Okay. Now that is in place. We can... Oh, I gotta hook the monitor back up. Actually, I gotta plug the monitor in. Sorry, might not be able to get a good shot of this. I'll try my best. There's the connector. So we're going.
going to connect. Why is this uh, giving me trouble? I'm going to connect the video connector back. Do we have enough slack? Oh, just barely, just barely. Um, I can use this tape. I use this. T I use the tape that is usually found on top of these connectors to pull the connector tight into uh, into the like you know connector the pins in to pull the male into the female here. Hope my big head's not in the way of everything. It probably is. He's probably staring right at my staring right at my gray hairs. These devices are giving me gray hairs, I'm telling you that. I'm just kidding, I'm not really complaining. Oh, there we go, okay. Alright, there we go. I'm just kind of pull this tape this way, I think we kind of just pull it this way, and that'll bring in the connector a little bit. I think that should be good, let's put a little more tape on there. I love my, love my scotch tape. Alright. Hope I wasn't too much in the way of everything. Now we should be able to set the monitor in. I'm just going to lay the monitor pretty much straight down. Oh, look at that! Okay. Yeah, it, it is pushing down there on the bottom, but that's okay. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me just go around, go around the top of the very, very top of the frame, and just push in. So get those connectors in. Yeah, this is kind of gonna be loose, loose there. Um, I might be able to. I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do something with that. This might be because of that frame. I don't know. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is out of the view of the camera. I have to look at this real closely, and I just can't do that without grabbing it up close. Yeah, that's the problem. Is this whole everything is just kind of... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything here with that. Hmm. Ah, yeah. yeah, I got I got a bit of a problem. Yeah, that's just not going to it's uh, this monitor is directly on top of that metal bar. It's like pushing down. It's just not gonna. I don't think it's gonna. This is not gonna close too flush. Come on. I don't think it's gonna happen. I also don't want to do bust the glass or anything by pressing too hard. Um, we might have to just live with this. Yeah, see, look, there's a big gap. I don't know if you, know, if you really make it that out, but there's a big, there's a big gap right here. It's not, it's not closing all the way. Let's see. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Do I? What I can also do what you can do. Hmm, yeah, it's. Yeah, the LCD. I see the LCD is pushing on that metal frame that is being pushed out. Hmm. That needs a yeah. This just that's just too much. Like it's hold on. I might need to just remove. I think I need to remove this metal bar almost entirely. Because it's this is not going to close up at all. 
it's already bad enough I'm trying to close it up with the epoxy let alone the sides not closing as well like the sides of the the screen so we're gonna have to work out something like, let's see I might have to just pull this metal I might have to just pop this metal piece completely off or okay I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a little more like I did previously I'm just gonna cut a little more I know you can't see what I'm doing but on the other side I'm cutting that 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 metal strip that runs down the side I believe it adds st adds um, stability to it I believe is what it does to the frame especially when you pull down on it because without this the whole top case would bow as you're trying to close it and open it but in our case it is causing more trouble than it's worth so I might just have to mix it all together which I'm about to do right now just going to pop this off. I'm going to cut it off now. <clears throat> these these wire cutters don't do an amazing job with this deal. This piece is probably gonna go flying. I'm gonna close my eyes. There we go. Oh man. Um, now that that's out of the way, hopefully it'll close a little better. Um, I might try to break off some of this crap, this other plastic, this crap that I put on here the other day. Making a big mess. Once epoxy dries, it's pretty, pretty tough. Probably ruining my metal spider here, but. Is what it is. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna vacuum this up. Excuse the noise. <sighs> okay. All right. Let's try and put this all back together again. Let's see. Snake this back. I'm sorry, I can't see what I'm doing. I know it's like not the point of the video, right? That's why everyone's leaving. See, it was three. So I had three viewers and then no action. Alright, I'll turn it around so y'all can see the action here. I'll turn it around. You can see the real deal. You can see the awesome job I did. I don't know if you can see this in detail, probably not, but I removed this metal bar. It stops right here now because it was being pushed out. It was pushed out and I think it was making the monitor not close up too well. Not that I, not that I expect it to close well at all. I don't think it will, but I want to try. That's all I can do. That's all I can do at this point. Okay, let's just try and keep this down. Wow. <sighs> There's some more tape, just kind of hold it down for a second. Let's just hold it down while I try to put this back in place. Let's see if this closes up a little better. Um, no. 
It is still very, something is very still in the way. Wait, let me see. Mm, I feel like it's better. And that might be, that might be acceptable. I'm gonna go with that being acceptable. Okay, so it's still coming out a little bit, but like it kind of closes, but it's not going to close all the way. Oh, now it'll, that'll stay. That'll stay. If you don't mess with it, oh, that'll stay. That was just a stupid plastic piece thing. I'm going to get rid of that hinge. It's not really a hinge, it's a hinge cover. There we go. That is just that's still coming up really bad, isn't it? <sighs> Ay, jeez. Um you know what I might do. I might just put a bunch of I just I don't know if that's you know what? Tape. More tape. If it doesn't if it doesn't hold, tape it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load it up with a bunch of 3M VHB. And that should hold it enough. Hopefully I do not damage the LCD while pushing on it. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Going into some serious, serious overtime. Uh, you know what I'm also going to do? Just going to tuck that black wire back in some more. So, I don't need all this tape again. Let's kind of just re, let's redo some stuff here. myself with the stupid tweezers. I do that all the time. All the time. Constantly. I'm just constantly poking myself with those dumb tweezers. They're sharp too. And it usually always ends up bleeding a little bit. A little bit of blood always comes out. Because they are just so sharp. I don't expect this tape to hold forever. But I just need it long enough so I can get things in place because once the monitor goes down the monitor's going to help hold hold every hold a lot of stuff and with the VHB that should also aid in holding down some stuff as well okay let's okay there we go let's just kind of keep that right there let's just hold that right there that'll be good for now Again, I'm just putting this tape down to hold it. Hold it down while I get everything situated. Okay. I think with the VHB... I feel like with the VHB and stuff, it's going to sit, sit much better now. And I'm gonna put some BHB on the side too, just a little bit. Then I'll just add some extra where it's not really coming down too good. Put some VHB right there on the side. There we go. Is anyone is anyone actually watching? There was like one person. No one says anything. No one makes any comments. You can comment on the chat. Say hi or something. So I can just. I'm probably on mute. Nobody wants to hear me. Just be like, dude, we don't want to hear you. Just, just fix it. I don't want to hear your jokes. Is 
This is definitely running into overtime because I still have to load load windows. For some reason, my 3 MVHB is so hard to take apart. Here we go. Alright. Drum roll. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Lay it down. Oh, hold on. Found the problem. This. The cord over here is also in the way. It's just gonna get right there. Really. It's about as good as it's gonna get, folks. I mean, I hope his computer boots up. I really do. Yeah, it's just, I mean, that's kinda it. These uh, screws are so tight on here. I don't know. It's just kind of popping off. It's just it's hard to keep this on. I don't know what I don't know what to do. I don't think it's gonna hold. I don't think it's gonna like stay for any good length of time. I mean, if someone open, I mean, if you just sit it down and leave it, if you sit it on a desk and leave it alone, that'd be fine. If you start carrying it with you and moving it around. Um, but you know what? I don't know. That lady might just, the person I'm giving it to, might just, you know, leave it on the. I don't know how to. You know what? Let's just roll with this for right now. Because I need to see if this thing even boots up. You know? It's getting late. Well, not late, like late, late, but I need to get, I need to get going on some other stuff. And this is taking a long time, but it's all right. I'm not really complaining. Just it is. What it, is. It, is it, it has taken me a long time. Okay. Back. If I turn off all the lights, you'd probably see the screen better. Yeah, I might do that. That might work. But it'd be upside down there. I might be able to invert. Oh, I might be able to reverse the the camera. You know what? I might do that. Hold on, folks. Let me see if this will work. A little bit of magic here. Transition. Oh, that's tra that's transitions. Let me see. I think I need needs to be a filter. I'm adding a filter to inverse. Basically turn it around without it actually being turned around. Scaling aspect ratio. I'm sorry I'm messing with this OBS studio. I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to see if I can turn it around, if I can turn the actual picture around on OBS, because that would, that would help transform, ah, here we go, ha oh, ha, here we go, okay, when it comes to that, I'll do that, I'll like, I'll like flip it around, okay, cool, oh, that might work, that, you know what, going forward, this could work, actually, this could work. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Let's let's plug this up. 
All right, let's plug it back up. Plug the, put the keyboard back. And I'll have to tell her just like, look, you know, this, this monitor is kind of barely on here. So, yeah, just got to be like super careful. Um, I want to loosen those nuts, but I can't. I, I can't get my tool. I just ordered some wrenches, but they're coming tomorrow. But this lady's picking it up today, so we'll just have to roll with that. We'll have to roll. Okay, let's put the top on. Let's put the top on. Let's plug it back up. I might have to do this out of the view of the camera, unfortunately. I just no way I'm gonna be able to let's see. I don't know if I can really do this. Hold on, folks. I spend a lot of time trying to get the angles right so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. Alright, we got that unknown FPC connected. Here's the power. I might be, I might be able to do this. Y'all, y'all looking? Put my hands in the way there. Okay. Okay. I think I think that's in. These don't like snap in or nothing, so you don't exactly know. You just have to hope for the best. If it looks like I'm struggling, it is because I'm trying to do this so y'all could see. I'm doing this for you. You don't have to thank me. This is the keyboard. Come on. There we go. I think that's in. This one's also appears to be in. Yes. Okay, looks good. And that is in. Okay, I think we're in. Okay. And before I totally button this up, I'm gonna test it. Before I push this down and screw the bottom back, I wanna make sure this is gonna turn on. Because it might not work. <laughs> Alright, let's see about I promised you I would flip this guy around. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Give me a second, plug another, I'm plug a different keyboard and mouse in here. Dude, I hate the trackpads. Oh my goodness, I hate trackpads. Ugh, they drive me crazy. I hate them so much. And we're going to install our Windows 10 USB. Does anybody agree? I also don't love wireless stuff. I don't, I don't trust it. I don't trust wireless stuff. I like wires. I like wires hanging out. Hanging out everywhere, dropping down everywhere. Just looks... It looks more scientific. Wires everywhere. Okay, I think I'm finally set. <sighs> plug up my... Plug up my Windows USB. Plug up my wireless USB. I'm not going to plug the internet in yet, and I'm going to show you a little trick, because I bypassed that stupid setting up the Microsoft account bull crap, which I hate. 
Um, you know what? I can play this because I need to get the the optical drive kind of kind of in. So we'll go ahead and just snap it in place. Won't screw it in place. Slide that optical drive in the side. It just slides in, folks. I know you can't see that, but it just slides right in. Now, for some... OBS magic in just a minute. Oh, let me plug the power up. I think I have the power supply right next to me. I do this so often with HPs. I work on HP so much. I have a power supply always right next to me for the HPs. And they generally use the same one, so which is nice. Boom. There we go. Um, I'm going to give it just a minute to put a little juice in the battery. Just a minute. And while I, while I do that, I'm going to see if I can flip around. I'm going to flip around the image transform, flip vertical. What is that white? Am I crazy? What is? Oh. Oh, I see what I see. Yes, that is the... Alright. I also need... I need a... There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna turn off the lights so you get you don't have that glare. <laughs> you just see me a little bit. Okay, We've got power light on. That's good. That's good. I don't see an HP logo display. Oh, 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 oh. All right, and let me do one more little bit of magic. Transform. I believe I need to flip it vertically. No. Wrong way. Flip, 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 flip. Flip horizontally. Ah. There y'all go. There we go. Slide it over a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That's a good way. You just. Uh, uh, see, I'm just trying to get. This. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. There we go. Just to get the glare off so you all can see it. <coughs> well, you can kind of see. That's not a great angle, but... Okay, it's already in the installer. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Is my wireless going to work? Man, I hate this wireless, too. So cheap. Alright, boom. Nice. Hey. Here we go. Can you kind of see this a little bit? Yeah, you can see this a little bit on the on the camera and it looks a little weird I wonder if I can do an initial hold on I wonder if I can do some kind of skew or something edit transform hmm reset transform hmm Mm, I don't think I don't think I could like skew it in a way where it would straighten this out to look straight. 
Anyway, okay, I don't want to... Maybe I'll mess with this again off camera. Okay, well, this is the best it's going to get, folks, right now, so... <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's install Windows. Custom... Remember, we put that new SSD in, so it looks like a blank disk. We're going to do a new volume... Or a partition, actually. Yes. Partition? Yes, new partition. And it automatically selects the biggest one. That's what we're going to install Windows onto. Just go to Next, and there you go. It's going to start installing Windows. I didn't need my HDMI capture after all. Well, once it goes into Windows, would have been nice, but yeah, this wouldn't. This this uh, installation it doesn't output on the second monitor, so this is about the best I can do right now. I'm still going to see if I can skew it in a way that it kind of straightens the picture. I don't think so, though. I don't think that it's a possibility in this program. Um... Yeah, I don't think... That's just to change the... Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Image mask blend, Luma key. Render sharpen scroll. Uh, yeah, I don't think scroll's going to do anything for us. Transform. I don't see it. I just have the rotation, the flips. Fit to screen, stretch to screen, center, horizontal. I don't see it. So yeah, you can't skew it. It doesn't look like. Anyway. Let me see what it kind of looks like. Uh, yeah, I just can't see it too well. Can't make too much out. It's not very clear. I guess I could kind of prop it up a little bit. I have to. I have to adjust the actual camera. Kind of make it look halfway decent. I guess I could. I just hate messing with the camera after I, after I dial it in, you know? Copying Windows files, 100%. Okay. Alright, I have to get back to some other stuff. It's going to load into Cortana here pretty quickly. Whoa. It's just hard to get a good picture from a, just from a camera looking at an LCD screen. I'm sure I could dial it in. I mean, if the camera was like sitting right on top of it and looking straight down and you adjusted the camera, I'm sure that could work.
actually almost done. Configure video. Let's see if we can see if there's anything we can do to help. I don't think so. I don't think there's anything we can do to help. Maybe the cam, maybe the, let's say, the backlight comp. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that? Did I do anything? I feel like it did. Oh. I think that helped a little bit. What do you think? A little bit. Backlight composition? Comp? Compensation? Backlight compensation. Oh, maybe that is what it's for. The backlight comp... Comp setting on my I know you can't see what I'm doing on my here I'm messing with the controls on the video I think that helped a little bit okay I'll leave it at that let's see now it's installing I'm going to be able to hear beautiful Cortana. Or it might actually end up trying to go back to the installer again. So what it's probably going to do. Let's see. See what it does. If it goes to the installer or if it goes to Cortana. don't know. Depends on the boot order of the BIOS. Let's see what it does. I might be able to turn down the brightness. See if I can. Is that doing anything? It's not even doing anything. I guess I have to have like a driver or something in it to adjust the brightness. Yeah. I think Cortana's getting fired up. Oh, sorry, can't see my beautiful face. Here, here, I got something for you. There we go. Now don't look so crazy in the dark here. You can see my reflection though now. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. It's pretty bright. Oh, there we go. Now you can't see me at all. There we go. How's that? That's a full blast right there. Hi. Hi, Katrina. She's here to help. Here, you're going. Ready for all you plan to do. I should. I should have that memorized. Yes. Please stay quiet. Let's dig in. How corny. Turn us. Turn us corny. 
region, United States. US. Keyboard layout. Nope, I'm good. See, now here's the trick. Here's what I do. So I, you know, I leave the internet connection out. I don't go into Wi-Fi because if you do, it senses that you're on internet and it tries to get you into a Microsoft account and all this other stupid stuff. So I don't connect it yet. I just say I don't have internet. Yeah, you know, I don't have internet. Continue limited setup. I'm, I'm. Don't be afraid of limited setup. They're just trying to scare you. Intimidation. Oh, if you're not connected to the internet, you're not going to have the full experience. No password, just next on the password. And no to all this bull crap. All this stupid crap right here. Nope, thank you. No thank you on all that. And not now on that. Almost done. Polishing up. Be all mine. Yes. Yes. Beats audio, baby. Boom. Boom. Yes. Several minutes. Lies. Better not. See my eyeballs. Watch this. Did you see that? Might not have. Might not have caught that. Okay, just taking a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm oh. Leave everything to us. Everything. Almost there. Almost there. Oh, baby. Oh. I see it's having trouble focusing. I thought I turned the autofocus off. I thought I did that. Oh, it is on auto. When did that change? Hmm. Okay. Exposure is also auto. Hmm. Okay, I don't know. I thought I had some stuff dialed in, but apparently not. So, yeah. <sighs> okay. later later edge now you plug in the internet <clears throat> now's the time you plug the internet and what it's gonna do it's gonna download drivers in the background you might see the screen flicker that's the video driver being installed <clears throat> it might turn on and off now at this moment in time we can not uninstall a bunch of garbage programs oh I guess not what I wanted programs is okay uninstall program oh wait a minute this is not hold on programs Um, you know what? I'm on the wrong thing. Hold on. I'm not on the normal. Hold on. That's not what I normally go to. Programs. You know, I, th I think this thing's having trouble focusing. <sighs> Hold on. That's why I wanted to keep the autofocus off. Yeah, see, this looks like crap. It's trying to autofocus and having trouble. Sorry, I had the autofocus turned off. Configure video. Focus. 
this off. I mean, it's going to look like crap, but I'm going to go with right there. Exposure. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's probably okay right there, right? Whoa. There we go. Sorry. I had to adjust all that. Let me see if I can just open up Edge. Welcome to Microsoft Edge. That's pretty clear, right? I think the focus is good now. Yeah, out of focus. That's probably going to be as good as I can get it right there. Okay. If I can turn down the brightness on this too. No. No, that's not working. Probably has to install the video driver and stuff. And it probably hasn't done it yet. It must be pretty sad to realize that all Edge is good for is downloading Chrome. Did it start? Hello? Why is that starting? Oh, it is going. Okay. You know what I don't like is when it groups. It groups it together. Never group. Thank you. Thank you. Lock the taskbar. Lock the taskbar. Now, if I get a copyright strike, I'm saying lock, L O C K. Lock the task bar. Okay. I don't want to hear no complaints. Programs. Yes, this is the one I wanted. Yes, we're going to delete some garbage programs. I start from the bottom and work most that will work myself up. It's just a lot easier. That's all weather. Weather's done. Tips. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Skype. Nobody needs Skype anymore. Photos, people. We don't care about people. Oh, we can't uninstall it anyway. Paint 3D. Dude, who uses Paint 3D? I don't know anybody. OneNote. Office. You can that's not that's not really even installed, I don't think. Mixed Reality Portal. I don't even know what that is. Like, does anybody even use that one? OneDrive. Not a lot of people use OneDrive. And if you want it, you can just install it. But I just get rid of it. Groove music, that sucks. Get help. Can't uninstall that one. Feedback Hub sucks. Don't need that. Cortana, I wish I could uninstall Cortana. 3D Viewer, don't need that. So I just uninstall those. And I also set the performance. Um, there's a performance adjustment. I do custom. Oh, first I click adjust best for best of performance, then you definitely want smooth edges of screen fonts, and you also want the drop shadows on the, yeah, drop, sh you want to use, yeah, show shadows under windows, yes, you definitely want that, because it's hard to see, I don't know why they just don't put a normal border around the windows, 
kind of ridiculous. Okay, that's good. I gonna remove that. Are we online? Network access, okay. And once this is done, I'm just gonna run through updates, but I'm not gonna show that on here because that's obviously number one, boring. Number two, it's gonna take forever. Number three, I gotta get back and do some other stuff. I haven't seen the screen flicker yet. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, let's look at the device. Oh, system. Let's look at the system and see what it actually has. Um, oh, whoa. Look at that. 16 gigs of RAM? What? It's an i7. I think it was it a turbo boost of 2.6? That's not too bad. See, it's still a good computer, especially with 16 gigs of RAM. Good night. Them, them, I don't think that's stock. I don't think so. This must have been an upgrade. I don't think this computer normally came with 16. I think it came. I think it came with eight. Is what I think, but I'm not sure. I don't really want to pin this to the task. This is how I set up all the computers I do for customers, just like how you saw. Every computer I do, I set it up pretty much like this. I don't even ask them. <laughs> I just do it. I just do it. Because I know, I know what's best. No one's really ever complained. Like, ever. They're like, oh, you didn't set it up right. Let's see. Um, yeah, the performance. Duh, 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 and then updates. So, yep, and I just run the updates. We're gonna check for updates. See, there's a lot, and it's already going. See, it's already started since because I plugged in the the internet. I think that's gonna conclude this video. I thank you, and have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good week. Have a safe Halloween. Have a good Thanksgiving. Coming up on Christmas. I like Christmas. I like it a lot. It feels like a reset, you know? Like a kind of a, I don't know. You know, Christmas and New Year's. I think that's the whole point, right? That's the whole point. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a reset, you know? I don't know. I don't know if that's making any sense or I'm just blabbing for no reason. I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. I, I, I think that's it. So it's a still good computer, you know. Um, I could tell it was like uh, slow is not the right word because it's not slow. Um, but I think that 2.0, 2.6 gigahertz is, you know, I was kind of probably taking it down a notch. But it's a still good computer, and it's will still be good for probably a few years. Seriously, I mean, yeah. So thank you again. And that is going to be all.